Hey, 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 Lucky Captain Jack again, bringing you a first look at the Z-23. Z-23 is the German Tier 7 destroyer. Uh, we're going to be showing you a little bit what it's capable of doing uh, if put in the right hands. I do prefer running DDs myself, so uh, I would love to tell you that I'm the right hands, but I promise you there are better people out there. So let's look at it. All right, what you're considering, it's only got four guns, 128 millimeter, but it's a 4.4 second reload. So you can do some good damage. The torpedoes, there are two quad launchers with a 64 second reload and a pretty decent range. Maneuverability, maximum speed, 38 knots, and uh, that's pretty, pretty smoking quick. The detection range is really small. 6.2 by sea, 3.2 by air. So if things are not directly on top of you, you probably could. Sorry, so here we go. We're already off. Um, the only upside to running destroyers, or I should not, I shouldn't say the only, the only upside. One of the key upsides running destroyers, at least you're not going to be detected right off Engine the bat. Boost activated. Um, unfortunately for their team, they go ahead and they pop up that cloud of smoke there, so you know there's going to be a destroyer sitting in there, and uh, I can avoid going that direction. Turpitz has popped up in the distance. Uh, he's going to be coming around an island and so we can use that island to screen us and go ahead and see that I am already within torpedo range of the Colorado just unfortunately the Colorado is in the back side of the huge mountain the Benson has spotted me I'm going to go ahead and take a couple shots at him um, and take this opportunity to throw some torpedoes into where his smoke was and he showed up on the map and if he's dumb maybe he'll continue to sit there and wait for us you know, you would think with all the, the, the dumb players that exist in this game that that's what he would do. Since uh, I know that there's dumb players, I seem to always get them on my team. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head if this battle is any different. Anyway, Benson presumably got uh, got some tunnel vision, worried about firing his torpedoes and whatnot at me, and didn't realize uh, he's going to crash into a big mountain. So while he's sitting there, uh, he has drawn the attention of everybody on my side of the map. And we're going to make short order of it. I don't get the kill. Uh, I, it got stolen right out from underneath me, which happens more than uh, more than I'd like to admit. But this turbot has shown back up, and even though I am spotted by the uh, by the plane, it's only a couple seconds till torpedoes come back. And so uh, to me, it's worth the risk to get those torpedoes off. Um, your whole job is a destroyer captain is to eliminate what you can. So I'm going to fire two salvos, one of the turbots, where I believe he's going to be, and one in the direction of this New Orleans. Meanwhile, pop my smoke, disappear into it. Uh, one also super important thing there is don't stay in the same spot where you put your smoke down. Because what's going to happen is some friendly DD is going to go, or some not so friendly DD is going to go ahead and throw his torpedoes in the direction of where the last spot he saw you was. So don't be there. Go anywhere but there. As you can see, several torpedoes have hit now, and we caused the flood. Um, wait for that New Orleans to pop back up. Z23 does have a uh, really quick torpedo reload rate, especially for a tier 7. Uh, you know, you saw the stat screen a minute ago. They come back super fast. So within 30 seconds or so, you're going to be able to fire them again. And so all we wanted is that. We wanted to wait for that New Orleans to show back up, get some torpedoes out ahead of him, and then get some to torpedoes uh, exactly where they say he's going to be. Um, if I had a third, I would put him just behind where they say he's going to be. Because uh, you got to anticipate what that commander's going to do, whether it's staying straight on course, following the track where they say they're going to be, or slowing down as you see him do here. Now again, third salvo to the right of the salvo that's going to kill him. Would have been perfect if he had slowed down faster than he did. So it's nice when you run things like the Fubuki or the, uh, I don't think the Akatsuki. I think it's got two batches of torpedoes. Any, any of those Japanese destroyers with three salvos. That shit is amazing because you can just put them down and get a, a full spread. Put your first batch exactly where it says it's going to go. Put your second, second batch down just ahead of them. Third batch down behind them. And 
there and just laugh hysterically as they run into as many of your torpedoes as they can handle before flooding or dying. So it's a good time. Um, anyway, moving right along, uh, we've been detected for a while and there's no harm, there's no point in sitting around and waiting to see if, uh, if somebody's going to start shooting at me. I'm already detected. Can't get out from underneath this plane. So use that to your advantage. You saw the Colorado wasn't looking my direction. So there's a pretty good bet that he's not looking in my direction now. We sit there and shoot down the plane, so that helps, and we disappear from sight, just in time to use the torpedoes that have reemerged and try to go after this Colorado. Still a bit far out, so we figure out how to keep the guns. And he's burning, so burning is always nice. And we like to continue burning people when they, you know, when it rains it pours. Well, when it burns it burns, so that's always a good time. And we are going to go turn around and try to find something else to shoot at. Assuming, of course, there is anything to shoot at. You see right now we've only lost two ships and killed five, so you've got three battleships and a destroyer out there somewhere. The last known position on the map is the exact direction I'm heading. And instead of having this uh, cruiser turn around and run away from the fight, uh, I'm not afraid to call him out. Turn your ass around, cruiser, let's go. I'm going to need your help. He sees the torpedoes, which is good. So... Like it when the, the guy gets to survive at least a little bit longer, maybe help us out, who knows. So now we know that not only are the three battleships up there, but the cruiser is, or the destroyer rather, is up there and firing toward our guy who was detected. So again, the same type deal, we're going to try to use these hills to uh, steady our approach. Iowa's coming into the gap. And, uh, close enough that I worried I was going to be detected, so I went ahead and used that smoke. It, was, I mean, it is my last smoke, but you see two battleships now side by side, and uh, that's perfect when what you're trying to do is do it. Normally you don't see two people side by side like that, but uh, today is not that day. So anyway, we've got you know another 30 seconds. Before we get our torpedoes back. You see, in sync, they turned and they were avoiding our own torpedoes. Uh, I didn't look to see if they were running in collision together, but it stands to reason they probably were. But anyway, so we see they're not looking at me, they're firing at our multi meet there off the left. Our torpedoes are back in nine seconds. So this, this is where I'm talking about you, you know, you figure out which one do you want to go? Do you want to try to lead the first guy? Or do you want to for the back guy and hope the first guy runs into him. The problem with it is if the Iowa in front dies first, his hull might stop the other torpedoes. So I fire some off at him and hope that they're going to catch the front of him. And then that the back set of torpedoes sneaks in just behind him. This shit would never work anywhere else but here. But sure enough, these guys fall for it. The Iowa's going to die. He's going to flood to death. Or he would have if my teammate didn't sneak the kill. Big surprise. Um, and we're up to 109,000 damage. Three ships left. And let's see when we see him. Uh, there's a Bismarck directly behind us, shooting us with his million mile freaking secondaries. But uh, he's shooting him with a little bit of guns. Yeah, we got four of them damage. put in use. And teammate kills him and game over. 109,000. I don't think his last round's hit. So, uh, 409, pretty damn impressive. If I do say so myself, and I will take it. So anyway, there's your introduction to, uh, to Z23 and the things you could do. I finished first on my team. 109,000 damage makes a difference. Eight torpedoes really kind of wins it. Anyway, hey, so I've been Lucky Captain Jack. Thanks for coming along. Welcome aboard and all that jazz. And, uh... If you like what you see, you want to see a little bit more of it, uh, like, subscribe, do all the things that you do, and uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what kind of stuff you'd be interested in seeing, and uh, I'm more than willing to, to uh, keep putting the videos out there. Until next time, fair winds and following seas, uh, this has been your captain, Lucky Captain Jack. Lucky Jack out.